hello guys welcome to my channel and in today's video i'm gonna explain uh, the working and structure of this dc motor driver and uh, this is somehow uh, i can't say unique but this is a somehow a different sort of arrangement to drive the dc motors so in its simple structure here we apply the alternating current AC voltages over here and by the using of these three rectifiers, big rectifiers or the by the diodes which are arranged in a manner to convert the alternating current into DC. So here we have the three bridge rectifiers, oh sorry, uh, diodes which are acting as a bridge rectifier so this one this one and this one then these three voltages are converted into the direct current and then through this resistors uh, we convert uh, means uh, like uh, to draw to drive this led and here we also have a, uh, a very small transformer which converts these voltages these converts the or step down the voltages and then this circuit which is a, a low current circuit or low voltage circuit yes we can say low voltage circuit and uh, here we have another ic to drive uh, as operational amplifier and which converts uh, the signal and drive these two silicon control rectifiers uh, in order to control the DC motor uh, we, here we have two silicon control rectifiers uh, with the name of uh, I can zoom this it's a69157 so here we have two silicon control rectifiers uh, which converts uh, or which uh, controls the DC motor and uh, he here we have the output for uh, the DC motor the A positive for the DC motor and here we have the A negative for the DC motor so once the voltages are applied by using this potentiometer like if we control the with this potentiometer so the speed of DC motor will be controlled here so uh, we will apply the 220 volt here we will connect our motor here uh, means uh, the A negative and the A positive the DC motor will be connected here and at these three uh, like uh, positions or the terminals I have I have made the jumpers so these three jumpers are connected with my potentiometer and its value is about 1k and this is uh, another jumper which, which is for the safety purpose so if you want to like it's a normally open circuit so if you want to stop the machine you will have to open this uh, sorry you have to make this and you have to for uh, running position you have to open the uh, like uh, open the circuit so over the circuit board we have the setting for the acceleration setting for uh, for uh, maximum ampere for the minimums for current and for the calibration so if you have this card don't try to calibrate like don't, don't try to disturb these uh, variable resistors over the circuit because sometimes uh, they are sync with the with the operational amplifier and uh, like everything is managed uh, as per the load calculation so if you move if you try to uh, disturb these things the whole setting can go out and it will like it can create trouble for you so and over this this is CL that's the current limit so if your motor is drawing more power than the rated power it will show this cl so this is the circuit it's very pretty simple circuit but uh, somehow you can say it's uh, it's not as much reliable as 
the other circuit which has the MOSFET base or uh, that uh, like uh, the FET base motor drivers controllers and uh, anyhow since this is manufactured by the manufacturer so it's used in many uh, small machines the mixer machines and uh, this particular card was installed with the with the with the, with the mixer machine the blood circulation machine and uh, because its purpose is to mix the blood or uh, to circulate the so uh, to avoid clotting so um, you have if you have seen the blood machine which is uh, which circulates uh, like uh, which oscillates the blood uh, samples so it was equipped in that machine so hopefully uh, this video will help you to identify the problems uh, thank you very much